Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mommy, and this is my first impressions review of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, the remake for the Nintendo Switch. This game originally came out on the regular Game Boy in 1993, and it was a freaking feat to put a giant action RPG onto a little console, a portable console like that. So what is this new one? Is it worth getting? So as always, if you guys like what I do and want to help, help out the channel by leaving a like commenting below and of course subscribing i do upload a lot of daily videos and make sure to stay until the end of the episode here because i'm going to be showing you a boss battle that i did now before we get started i did play this game for a couple of hours already and i'm thinking of doing a let's play for the channel however this is a Zelda game, so there's sometimes a lot of back and forth. I want to make this a concise series. So today I'm putting the review and I'm also putting up the first episode of the Let's Play. It's going to be a, a regular one, like episode one, two, and three, and four, but it's going to be condensed. So let's play. I play the game for an hour. I'm going to condense it, cut out all the fluff that I can and make it a 20 minute video for you guys. So it'll be nice and easy. It'll get straight to the point. So please check it out if you have the time. And if this does well, and I can edit it down. I'm going to do this for other future series. So I'm going to be testing it out. It's going to be called Let's Play Abridged or The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Abridged or something like that to let you know it's a short and edited series. So let's talk about the price, the story, the graphics, the audio, the gameplay, and other noteworthy things. First of all, um, I have not played the original. And the reason being is I did have the cartridge when it first came out in 93. I was super young then. My brother got it. So I was probably uh, just a couple of years old i want to say like five or six when i first played it and when i first got it you know not much internet to go around so i played the game and i couldn't finish it and it wasn't because it was hard it's because the game cartridge was bugged pretty much um when i started the game you know it goes through the cutscene. um you are you know shipwrecked or whatever and then they help you out and you wake up in a room when i first played I couldn't see anything except character sprites. The house that I was in, everything else was whited out. It was like invisible. So you can see, I run around, I can see NPCs, I can see a chain shop, I can see a chicken. And at the time, it just made sense to me playing it for the very first time, not knowing what the game was because it was a game called Link's Awakening. I thought he was slowly, slowly like learning about the world and slowly waking up so i was like oh he can only see the npcs now maybe if i run around and do stuff i'll learn more but because everything was invisible i couldn't progress so that so that was my history with it and then i never picked it up again I, it was only like a couple years ago recently i was like that's how the games played you can see everything from the start so this experience that i'm having here it's totally new totally blind so so the game is $59.99 for Nintendo Switch, and it's pretty much a remake with revamped graphics, much more flavor text in the game, a little bit of quality of life features such as new mechanics, which we'll get to in a bit, and just an overall new experience. Even those who have played it, I've talked to many people who have played the original say that they're going to get this one no matter what they have, and they like it a lot. So with that being said the story link starts off well the game just starts right before we even get to the title screen the first time opening the game it's that classic cutscene where links on his raft in a storm he gets washed up on shore and he gets pretty much you know saved by this girl named marion you get taken to her house you meet the townspeople and you go from there they say hey as soon as you got washed up on shore monsters started popping up now why the hell is that go fix it or do something so they give you your shield and they're like go south you gotta go to a beach so you go to the beach and you get your sword and then you find out you have to wake up the windfish in order to escape the island and that's where it begins the windfish can only be awakened by using instruments and instruments are of course in dungeons now classic zelda formula defeat enemies on the overworld small little side quests here and there jump in dungeons defeat bosses and that's it that's pretty much the zelda formula and this game came out in 93 it's amazing how it holds up with just a new I don't want to say coat of paint because it's way more than that, but the overall structure of the whole game is pretty much the same, just with more added mechanics. So it's good. The story is pretty basic and awesome. The graphics, if when I first saw it, you know, a lot of I thought a lot of people were to get the feeling that you know when they first saw Wind Waker, they're like, oh, this is not the Zelda we want. Oh, this is so cartoony. I thought a lot of people were gonna think that as well for this game, but I guess there's been so many different iterations of the Zelda style that 
it didn't bother a lot of people. A lot of people were calling this like toy Zelda type of feel. I liked it a lot. It's like it's, like, it's a handheld-ish kind of look. It's great, man. We already had the Breath of the Wild. They're working on Breath of the Wild 2. It's not like they're dropping it and they're making everything cartoony. So the graphics are really good to look at. Um, seriously, the world is beautiful. Um, the enemy sprites look good. It's very vibrant and colorful and stark when it needs to be. The colors are, they work well. You know, it just looks good. Like, look at the footage I'm showing you. It's amazing. Audio wise, classic Zelda, once again, gonna say that quite a bit, but it's true. Um, they have a small, like, remixes of the overall theme so if you have played any other zelda games before not like like the older ones like the breath of wild didn't really have the zelda theme in it you know dun, 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 you know that type of deal like hyrule field this one has that and it feels good it really really sounds great so it's good like also has his you know his yells like he always has etc so there you go um gameplay well how do i explain it without you know we already know basic sword play shield you can raise your shield and as you play because it's a zelda game you're going to get new items so i'm going to give you some examples there's a really good item in here a really really cool item called a rock's feather you get it in your very first dungeon i guess i can spoil that and it allows you to jump usually in these games the only way to jump is to fall off a cliff or something but this you could actually press it it's an active item that you set to one of your buttons you could jump now doing this you can jump over gaps over enemies solve puzzles with it and what's really cool is specifically to this game they have this awesome little mechanic where if you go down into a dungeon layer it turns into a 2d game where you walk left and right and it becomes a lot like mario actually really like mario there's a goombas and there's piranha plants straight out of mario because it's all nintendo game so they made this a little bit of a collaboration type of don't you can jump on them and attack them it's cool there's even mo uh you know uh nods to other mario characters there's a chain chop you can get a yoshi doll etc this game has a lot going for it and honestly i don't know what to tell you it's zelda it's good freaking get it now some noteworthy things let's talk about some changes they've made that i know and uh, because like i said i've not played this before but some things that i can definitely say were not in the original is there's this map system and you can put pins on it just like you could breath of the wild it's like maximum of like 30 pins and you can change between like a treasure chest pin a basic like circle pin or something like that so you can mark the map for you know coming back later if you want to remember like oh i can't lift up this rock but maybe in a dungeon or two i can come back to this very early part and lift it up and i can start doing some collectibles um a lot of rupees to collect a lot of heart pieces and there's a lot of side quest stuff like giant like secret seashells items to get from like like a, there's an overall trading thing like if you get the yoshi doll it turns into some kind of uh uh turns into a bow i think and then it turns into a can and then you can trade it as an alligator for some bananas it sounds nuts and that's because it is it's all over the place and uh some other cool stuff is some flavor text i'll give you an example when you first go into the crane machine place and you pick up the yoshi doll when you pick it up it has a flavor text that says hey yoshi now, you pick up the Yoshi doll, and in the original, I believe it says something along the lines of, Wow, you, you've been seeing this character in a lot of games recently. You know, back then in 93, nodding like, Hey, Yoshi's becoming a big deal in Mario. But now that you pick it up today, you grab it, and it says, You can't even remember, you can't even count the times you've seen that this character show up in games. Saying, like, it's been like 26 years, it's even more, it's even greater. So there's a lot of changes like that. And there's other new mechanics as well, such as the introduction of a dungeon type of builder thing. There's a character called Dompe who shows up in later games, but then of course it's in this new remake. And he is a grave digger of sorts, and he pretty much, you go to him, and it's kind of like a, an optional thing to do. Where you run around in dungeons that you can make by getting room tiles that you collect throughout your adventure. And you can, sh you can share them with the friends and etc. This game, is it worth the money? absolutely it's good it's a great great game for me personally i played on digital it's nice to get physical versions of stuff physical versions of stuff but with this handheld it's just much more easier to not carry a bunch of little cartridges around and switch them out so it's much more easier for me here and i think that's all i have to say so far i know i don't need to finish this game to let you know that this is a good game you should play it and you should absolutely check out my series. That's right. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a like. It helps a lot if you haven't already. Sub for daily videos. If you want, follow me on Twitch. I am streaming this pretty much until we complete it. So a couple of hours a day. We'll love to see you there. And of course, check out the, the I don't know what I'm going to call it. The Legend of Zelda 
Link's Awakening Abridged. It's a very long title, so I might just go, you know, L-O-T-Z, like, you know, hyphen it up. But I need to let you know in the title that this is a highly edited series, so you don't have to believe that you're going to be wading through a bunch of crap, right? Just the basic stuff to get through as a walkthrough, a playthrough, a let's play. So, before I end it, I'm going to be showing you a quick boss battle I had on the live stream. Should be fun. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll see you guys next time. The controller's about to die. You gotta charge it later. I'm your bad guy. Alright, bring it, bitch. <laughs> Do it, wuss. All right, finally, we're back to where we were. We healed up. We're good to go. We hit him twice. That'll suck off the boss. The battle just ends right there. But you gotta hit him a bunch of times. You don't just break the bottle, right? That's all too easy. Damn, he hit me for two. Damn, he's ready to die. Oops. Oh God. Oh God, oh God. What do we do? Shield out. Oh, you freaking butt. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Dodge and attack. Dodge it. Oh my god, big ball of fire! Got him! Huh. Okay. Honestly, I had three hits that whole battle. Oh my god, I almost died. Sweet. <gasps> Heart container.